Guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today I wanted to bring back the top five Town Hall level 10 bases. And the reason being is the old one I had only has three mortars in it, and so I wanted to kind of do a refresh one. I am going to do the same thing for Town Hall level 9 and Town Hall level 8, and then afterwards I might look into war bases because war bases can be a little bit different from what you'd expect in a normal base that you're going to be going into matchmaking with, and I'll explain that in that video if it comes out. Um, but yeah, so let's look at this base, number five. Um, a lot of the attackers right now are using Lava Lunian. So it is really, really, really important to make sure you have a lot of your air bombs and air defenses near your town hall because you're going to be trying to protect that. Um, there are people who argue that having centralized air defenses is really good. However, I think this base has its air defenses a little bit too close and they can get easily frozen. This base does really really well against ground attacks however and I would give this one a 10 for ground attacks and I'd give air defense a 6 and I say that just because it, you can freeze both of these air defenses and the inferno towers with one freeze spell. Um, as far as defensive replays with this base guys, as you can see the air attacks get me. This ground attack got me. This guy had a really good attack here with four, four golems. That is something that's weak to as well. A lot of golems and uh, I haven't seen anybody use four golems in a long time. Um, I have one in defense here though, and uh, I will show you guys that one. It's just going to stop him in his tracks, as you guys will see here. My clan castle is going to come out and just absolutely destroy him when the golems come through. Um, so yeah, he's putting down some wizards. He's pretty smart here, putting down his wall breakers. He's taking out all the outside buildings so his heroes can head right towards the center. So really good play by him. Um, my clan castle is going to come out and just cause havoc and he's just taking a beat now his golem over here is about to die and my queen is doing work right now and all my witches and my wizards and my clan castle have already taken out a bunch of his troops and he only has a couple left now now he's putting down the hero he does have a pekka which I don't agree with because pekka is going to get wrecked by those cannons and the tesla's hitting it too so his heroes are going to go in he didn't have enough wall breakers. There's no way he's going to make it through. And they're going to get distracted by a witch trap or a skeleton trap. I did it again. A skeleton trap. And those are going to stop the heroes in their tracks. So, yeah, the hero's there. He, he buffs up his queen, and it's just going to be stopped. There's so many different compartments for ground troops on this. I really, really, really enjoy this base, guys. I've been having a lot of fun with it. However, a lot of people are attacking me from the air. So I am going to switch around my base and try to find one that's... Um, really good at both so we'll see that um, but yeah guys let's go ahead and move on to the next base we're gonna go to base number four all right guys here we are on base number four now this base a friend told me about and he said it's really really good against Lava Lunian. Um, I'll have to test it out I've seen a bunch of these arrowhead designs going around right now this one's a little bit different because I'm used to Tesla's being near the town hall and the Teslas are actually over here on this side and the reasoning for that is that a lot of people will go for these buildings on the outside because they think they can pick them off They'll try to get rid of that archer tower, and then they'll have to deal with the Teslas, which are going to be a big pain, kill off a lot of their balloons, and basically only going to let them either get a one star or fail the raid. So that's the hope with this one. We put a whole bunch of our skeleton traps over here. I put one on the ground and two in the air just in case somebody tries to get smart. Um, but I actually want to see this defense in action, guys. So we're going to go on defense and see how we do. All right, guys. So we are under attack. I am opening it up. This is going to be a live raid, so... Fingers crossed, I'm hoping we do good. Let's see if he's attacking us from the air. I'd kind of like an example of that and see how this base does. I was told it was going to do. I do have a witch in the clan castle and the rest archers. All right, and we're going to get a live view of it. He is attacking from the ground. I do have a whole bunch of bombs in there. He does put a free spell down on the inferno tower. That's pretty good. I think his queen's going to be able to get there. Why haven't my clan castle troops come out? Come on, clan castle troops. You can do it. Here they come. Nice. Okay, so clan castle troops are out. The king is out. That's going to distract... Oh, I, I hope we can win this one. He's got some wizards left over. His queen's wrecking right now. I, no, 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 no. Please, please. His king, the king's on the town. Why aren't you fighting the king? Why isn't the... There we go. Nice. Okay, we've got the distraction on that. He's at 40%, though. He still has his queen and two golems. Oh, no, he takes the town hall. Looks like I'm going to need some stronger clan castle troops because, man, that guy just ripped through this base. And, uh... Yeah, I guess this one's really strong against air defense and not so strong against the ground defense. I thought for a minute there we had it. I might consider putting the Teslas back. Um, we'll have to see. 
Uh, minus eight there on that defense, guys. I'm going to play around with this defense a little bit more. I was told it was really, really good on the air defense. It did lose on the ground defense, though. So I'm going to give this one a five on the air defense. I'm sorry, a five on the ground defense and an unknown on the air defense. But I think it is a strong base just by looking at it. A lot of people will fall for their buildings over here. Definitely going to test this base out more, guys. But let's go ahead and move on to base number three guys so i wanted to go out and research and find a base that does well at both so so far the two bases we've seen they excel at one and do not so hot at the other so this is going to be base number three for me guys um i'm going to put both air and ground at an eight on this one i have messed around with this base before and i remember the ground attacks the uh they were a little iffy um a lot of people would attack you from the top here and that's kind of what he's trying to do he's trying to bait out lava loonian to attack him from the top and i do have a replay to share with you guys of a defense he actually won against lava loonian so i'm going to show that to you after this one but first i wanted to talk about his trap placement as you can see he's got three seeking air mines up here um, because most people are going to go for that air defense and they're going to want to freeze that inferno tower as well as the expo as quick as possible um, but their Lava Hound isn't going to make it there. The um, air bombs are just going to do a load of damage. And then the Clan Castle should come out and distract uh, most of his troops that are going to follow up there. And he's just got so many distractions around here. The Clan Castle, the heroes, um, the Expos are going to be reaching up into the air, which is pretty nice. He does have his skeleton trap set to the ground. Um, I can see why he did that. In the defensive replay I was kind of curious about that a lot of times I've been setting mine to air because I've only been getting ripped apart by Lava Lunian um, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys the defense now oh before I do that um, the Tesla's here he's got four Tesla's on one side I thought that was pretty interesting um, but I think he's trying to make people attack him from the top and he's wanting them to get near there or near the air defense over here and the Queen because the Queen's gonna lure them over there and the clan castle so the Tesla's are just gonna rip apart anything that comes to it uh, my only worry is that people would attack from this side, and that's what somebody actually does, and he still defends. So I'm going to show you guys that defense now. So here is the defense. We have the attacker, Arash, from Persian Gulf. I'm um, not sure if he was feeling rusty on Lava Lunian or what was up. Um, I was under the impression you always wanted to put down your Lava Hound first, and he doesn't. He's going to attack from this side. So he's just going to put out a line of balloons there, and a couple of them are going to get blown up. I guess he did a good job at baiting out the seeking air bombs he had there and the air bombs as well. Um, the Inferno Tower is going to rip apart a couple of balloons. He's going to go ahead and put down a Rage Spell. He's trying to get that to that Inferno Tower as qu quick as he can. And some of the air bombs are going to hit the Lava Hound, but that's not what's worrying. The Queen is just smashing that Lava Hound right there. And it is taking out a whole bunch. And here comes the Teslas I was talking about, getting lured over to the Queen. I think the Lava Hound was actually going for the air defense there, but the Queen and the Clan Castle were able to take it out, which was nice. And he is left with a defenseless side right here. Um, if I saw this, I mean, I'd be like, there's no way he's going to win this. Especially um, with zero defenses. I mean, he does have the storages, which are pretty tanky. But the Inferno Tower and the... Oh, the multi-target Inferno Tower and the King, I don't think should be strong enough to take out the heroes. Uh, but just wait. It's pretty cool what he does. He puts down the Wall Breakers. And this is, this is why I said that it's really strong that he had his... Um, skeleton traps set to the ground. He tries to pull them all out with an archer and he puts down his clan castle a golem. I like that strategy though. That is actually really smart. Putting down a golem to go ahead and tank for your heroes so he can get through there. I've never seen anybody do that with um, Lava Lunian, so really cool strat there. I actually like that a lot. I'll have to try that out. And then he's got the multi target Inferno Tower firing away doing zero damage. It's like 40 damage per second or something so small. And uh, he's, they're going to be beating on that wall for a while. So I'm going to speed it up until they get through there. And yeah, here comes all the defenses. He still had balloons in the clan castle that didn't get lured out. Skeleton trapped it a lot for him there. Here comes another one right here. Going to distract a little bit. And the balloons are actually going to take out the king, which is pretty awesome. And the queen is going to hit the town hall here. And I was amazed. I was like, he's lost this. There's no way he's going to win this defense. And all of a sudden, the queen gets lured her ability. I think had the guy waited a little bit longer on that ability, he would have had it. Um, but for the most part, if I saw this base, I would attack from this top side. And that's where he has top-loaded them with the air bomb. So great defense from him. I appreciate him showing me that defense. Big shout-out to Maybach and Bombi Canada for letting me use that. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm going to give that base right there an 8 um, on each, an 8 on the ground, and an 8 in the air because I have tested it on the ground before. 
Um, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and move on to number two. Hey guys, so here we are on base number two. Now let's talk about this base really quick. It's kind of your classic southern teaser base. However, it does really, really well against Lava Lunian if you can get attacked by it. Um, I tried out this defense, guys, and the first person who attacked me was somebody who specifically searches for this base. This base is really popular right now, and there are people who know how to beat it. And this guy brought along five golems, zero wall breakers. And th that's what these people do. They search for a specific base and they'll attack that base no matter what because they have the right troop composition for it. So that is a problem with um, bases in general and making videos on bases is when you do, um, you're kind of giving away the info needed to beat it. However, even every or every base you're going to get, people are going to learn how to beat it. And if it becomes more popular, if it's a good base, um, people are going to beat it. That's why so many base designs have shifted over the years. Um, but this base, I think, will hold strong until they do something with Lava Lunian. Maybe in the update tomorrow, they're going to nerf it, I hope, or make ground troops stronger. So bases will get rearranged. But this one does really get good against Lava Lunian and against a standard ground composition. This is kind of like a specific troop composition right here on that one. So um, this base is really, really strong. If somebody attacks you from the top, their Archer Queen cannot reach to the Town Hall, even if they freeze the Inferno Towers. If they bring a bunch of Wall Breakers and get through, they're going to be lured by the Clan Castle, as well as the Expos reaching, and the Heroes should be able to get there in time to save um, your Town Hall. So, Inferno Tower protection is great on this base. There's so many traps here on the bottom. Attacking from the side is probably the best way to go from this base. If you can get through this wall over here, um, you can make your way towards the center pretty easily, actually. And you'd be able to bust this wall after these two walls right here. So um, I think that's the best way to attack this base. But this base is really, really strong against the Abelunian. So I'm going to give this base a 9 out of 10 as far as air defense and ground defense. I'm also going to give it a 9 out of 10 and the reason I'm doing that even though I just lost the defense is because that was a specific one um, it was targeted to this base but I know it will hold true against normal ground compositions um, but anyway guys let's go ahead and move on to this last base which I believe is the best base out of all of these I'll see you guys there alright guys and finally for our number one base we have this beauty right here now the reason this base is so strong is going back to what we were talking about how people think that centralized air defenses are, are better for um, Lava Lunian. In this base, it kind of defies that rule. Um, if you look, the outer ring of the, um, not the most, out, yeah, the outer square, the main square of the base is all the defenses. So all the loons and the Lava Hounds are just going to go for the air defense. And then the loons are going to go for all the rest of the buildings on the outside. And then one layer before that, you're going to have no defenses. So they're just going to be normal buildings. So loons like to target defenses and the lava hounds like to target air defenses. So that being said, they're just going to do a nice ring around the rosy there. Probably not going to head over. And if they do, they're going to meet a nice little surprise in the center waiting for them. There's so much stuff in here. We're talking Inferno Towers, Teslas, Clan Castles. Um, it's good that they kept the heroes on the outside. The heroes on the outside, meaning even if they freeze all of this, which they can with two freeze spells, that the heroes are still going to pull them away, probably in time for the free spells to come back up, um, our free spells to go away, and our stuff to come back up. So, great base here. Um, the outer compartments here, I don't know how those will fare. Um, I'm probably going to have to move some traps into this one up here. I put the rest around the outside of the base, and it looks pretty strong. I'm going to test it on defense probably in about 15 minutes, and then we'll see how it does. But... Um, this definitely is the strongest base out of them. 10 for ground, I'm going to give it, and I'm going to give it a 10 for air as well. I'm going to stick with this base for a while. I like it a lot better than the base I've been running, which is um, this one right here. Uh, I believe it was base number 5 we talked about today. So this base right here has won me a couple defenses, but not enough, and I think this one will win me a lot more defenses than the one we were just at. So I'm going to stick with this one. Uh, but anyway, guys... Let me know what you thought about this. If you guys have any really cool bases for Town Hall Level 9, send them to me. I'm going to be doing one on Town Hall Level 9. I'm going to be doing some research and seeing which bases are out there and which bases are super duper strong. So if you think you got one, um, send it to me and I will be sure to give you guys credit. Um, be sure to smash that like button, guys. Let's see if we can hit 700 likes on this video. And you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.